friend of mine recently started a whole plant-based diet. And I asked her, I said, what kind of breakfast do you normally have? And she said, oatmeal. And I said, great, what kind of oatmeal do you have? And she said, you know, the stuff from a pouch, and you just, you know, put it in the microwave with some water. Well, old-fashioned oatmeal is really not that difficult to make. But here's the difference between the two. As you can see, one is really processed, it's been ground up, and there's really not a lot of fiber left. Of course, it's much better than scrambled eggs, butter, bacon, sausage, whatever. But old-fashioned oatmeal is not that difficult to make, but so much more benefits from it. And not only is it good for your digestive system, it's good for your entire body. So today, I want to go over some of the easy ways and fun things you can do with oatmeal for breakfast. Okay, so let's get started making the oatmeal. I usually go with about a cup and a quarter of water. I'm making it for one and then to about, about a half a cup of old-fashioned oatmeal. Turn it up. Now here's the thing. I've got a bunch of stuff here for you to kind of consider. It's all up to you and your personality. These are just ideas. But uh, I usually like some cut up bananas, some apples, some strawberries, and then if it's in, in the winter months, maybe some canned pineapples, uh, maybe some canned peaches, or maybe some canned uh, mandarin oranges, but it's all up to you. And in the pantry, you can also have maybe some dried cranberries, some raisins, maybe some uh, coconut. Uh, I got some blueberries here, and I always like to put in a little bit of uh, flaxseed. That's always good. Walnuts once in a while, but sometimes I like to sweeten it up a little bit, and this is totally up to you. If I do use uh, maple syrup, I like to use the grade A syrup, not the fruit coast stuff, the bad stuff, or maybe just a little bit of uh, brown sugar. The thing is about dates is you can't just throw them in there. You got to cut them up and mince them up into little pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do that right now. Go ahead and put those in. And the thing about dates, it's a natural way to sweeten up your oatmeal and also dates are really good for you. Okay, so we'll go ahead and cut up some strawberries. Okay, put some bananas in there, some apples, maybe some blueberries in there. Not much, but I like a little bit of coconut in there. Just a couple chopped walnuts. Get my flax seed in there. Maybe some raisins. I like raisins. Just a little bit of maple syrup. And that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and check this out. There you go. So it's relatively easy to do. It's just about the time that it takes you to cut up some fruit, maybe grab some stuff from the pantry, but this is so much better for you than that instant stuff.